shooting an intruder this morning. DeKalb police say Dexter Tucker was justified in shooting a 17-year-old who broke into his home. Fox Live's George Franco is here now with more on the story. George. Amanda and Russ, 40-year-old Dexter Tucker told me he'd gone through the scenario in his mind many times before. What would he do if somebody broke into his house? But he says he never thought it would actually happen. This is the way they came in. That's a bullet hole right there. He came in this way. He kicked the door. You can see where he kicked it in. Dexter Tucker showed us where an intruder kicked in his back door. Tucker says he'd been asleep when he heard knocking at the front door around noon. He says he peered through the shades but didn't answer. So then I got back in the bed. So then he started beating on the door. Boo, boo, boo. Then Tucker says he saw a young man run to the back door and that's when he grabbed his gun. I couldn't believe he was kicking in my door. And it took him like four kicks to get in. So by the time he got in, I was, I was, I was ready for him. Tucker says he shot the intruder three times, striking him once in the thigh. He says he then saw another young man running away. Across the street, neighbor Vermeil Harris says she saw someone running away and getting into a car down the road. He ended up hopping in a car. So I gave him the description of the vehicle that he got in, and they found him later. Police say they arrested a 17-year-old male and a 17-year-old girl in a stolen car not far away. Police say the second suspect ran to this location about three blocks from Dexter Tucker's home, then jumped over that fence, then tried to hide from police behind this unattached part of the fence. Authorities say the teenager was arrested after a contractor working on wires led police to the backyard. The three teens involved faced burglary and other charges. Police say Dexter Tucker rightfully defended his home. It's senseless. I mean, you're coming in my house. I mean, I was scared. So I just did what anybody else would do. One of the teenagers is in stable condition at the hospital. The other two are at the DeKalb County Jail. Tucker says the teens left their car at its home when they fled. Police tell us they suspect those teenagers arrested for breaking into Tucker's home might be responsible for other crimes in the area. Well, you know, anybody would be scared, and it probably served Mr. Tucker well that he'd gone over this in his mind ahead of time. Did he have that gun specifically for protection? He told us he's got a wife and two children, so he said he got the gun really for his wife and for his kids, but he said he'd been through that scenario many times before. Mm -hmm. He just thought, I hope I never have to go through it, and he did have to go through it. All right. George, thank you. The Paulding County Sheriff's Office is asking for help tonight.